hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are cooking elotes i had some meal prepping to do for a client of mine so we are cooking today as you can see i'm already showing you guys what i'm making i have my cojita cheese i have my paprika my lemon and my lime i have my um cilantro and lime seasoning what else do i have girl i have my tahini yes my corn has been cooking so i drained all my water i have my grapeseed oil this is going kind of fast so just stay with me you know what's up i have my deal that's just my own little chef nelly touch you dig what i'm saying i have my vegan mayo all this is the vegan as much as possible except for the cojita cheese because i believe it has like other stuff in there um my butter is grass-fed butter I had chopped up some, I have some seasoning on my butter. No worries, it ain't fail or nothing like that. But I do have grass-fed butter right there. Just dropped a few in there. You saw that little drip. Um, and you see those grandma arms too, okay, Perry? Um, she can cook, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add all my stuff in there, all my seasonings. Yes, shake, 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 my cilantro lime i love that seasoning y'all it is so good i put it on everything and i have a lot of corn in here so y'all think i'm just putting so much seasoning trust me i have a lot of corn so i have to make sure everything gets touched so you know my hand is just a little shaky <laughs> you know what i'm saying so paprika my cheese a little grapeseed oil my lemon and my lime i'm gonna make sure no seeds get in my corn so i'm gonna put my hand there to make sure my clean hands there to make sure that you know no seeds get in my corn because that ain't gonna be good you know you eating some corn you gotta you got a doggone uh seed up in there who got time for that so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of that yep squeeze all that juice out and gonna keep on doing that with my limes my lemons and get all of that up in there i actually usually would have put cilantro but i'm going to just put a dab of dill um because i did not have cilantro but i do have a lot of lime i do have a lot of lemon so i do want to get that flavor going you know um i actually got the lime and lemon and all that good stuff from another elote i had at a restaurant i was like well let me just remix it and do it this way so i got it like this and it tastes so good. I tasted it after. And it tastes so good. I love to get all those flavors in my mouth. All those exotic flavors. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like right now, comment, let me know what you guys want to see me cooking next. I will definitely get that to you. If you guys are new here, what's up, what's cracking? Thank you guys for joining me today. If you guys have been watching me so far, what's up, what's good? I missed y'all so much, but I'm happy to be back and showing you guys what I've been doing. I have definitely been, like I said, I had a lot of orders for my catering business, so I have been working um but i'm back and i want to give you guys as much as i can so i'm going to do a drop of my grapeseed oil you probably don't have to put that in there but i did a little bit you know there it is it looks so beautiful all those colors and i'm gonna go get me a spoon i had made some grits earlier and then i have my sofrita actually that's not sofrita that's like soy chorizo veggies and spinach in my pot right there because later on we're going to get into the empanada you know what i'm saying but i made some grits earlier so don't mind my grits there's my drop well my dollop of my vegan mayo and so i'm gonna go ahead and get that up in there
I am going to have my butter there sliding down on y'all see my butter obviously there's my butter I'm gonna go ahead and put my pot of corn yes all my corn get all of that out of there go ahead and spread that out in my pot there well my pan I am going it's already hot because like I said my corn has you know cooked and boiled and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven just to keep it warm um but I'm just putting it in the pan because it's just easier to deliver that way. And then I'm going to top it with some more cheese and paprika and tahini. Sit it in the oven for a second. Um, obviously, it's not cooking. It's just staying warm. So I'm going to go ahead and top it. And then, as you can see, I'm going to start putting the rest of my condiments on top as well.